This is David Taub reporting on top of the Friant Dam. Behind me, the end of the rainbow on Millerton Lake. It flows through the dam and eventually fills the San Joaquin River. We're going to learn how the water goes from Millerton down through the San Joaquin River to Mendota all the way back up to the Delta. This is Dwayne Straup, the Deputy Area Manager for this region of the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation, a federal agency. He gave us a tour of the dam on a sunny day after some recent rain. Millerton Lake was formed by the dam, built in 1942. Straub says that right now, they are releasing 4,000 cubic feet per second, which is approximately... 8,000 acre feet a day. And okay. an acre foot is the amount of water that would cover one acre of land one foot deep. So it's a lot of water. It's a lot of water. Now, in the simple version, uh, where does this water come from? I guess it starts here, goes down the San Joaquin River, and then what happens to it? It goes down to the a series of bypasses, which bypass the San Joaquin River. We, there's flooding at Mendota Pool, and uh, the can, potential for flooding, and around the town of Mendota. So we send it down uh, some bypasses to the delta, to the San Joaquin, Sacramento San Joaquin River Delta. And we like it when it rains for it to be nice and cold, so it falls as snow, and that's our main form of storage, and then that stores the water, and then as that melts, it flows into our reservoir, and other reservoirs upstream, and then. We want, to, want it to melt at just the rate that we can store it and send it south and north for uh, beneficial use. And in the dry years, how low have we seen uh, Millerton Lake go? We've seen it come real close to 150,000 acre feet um, in storage, which is just enough for us to be able to make diversions to the Friant Kern Canal. Uh, when it rains, we get more water upstream, the reservoirs upstream fill, and we get into a condition where we're concerned about downstream flooding. So. What we want to do is regulate the flow so that we don't flood people out that are downstream. Right now, Milton Lake is at about 70% capacity. Straub says this is higher than normal. This time of year, we usually keep it down closer to 350,000 acre feet because we want to leave room in case there's another storm that comes in unexpected. Like over right after Christmas when we had that series of storms that came in, we had several hundred thousand acre feet of storage that was available that we could fill up and attenuate the flows so that we didn't cause downstream flooding. From the delta, the water goes into the ocean. Straub says more storage could help. As long as the storage was on the San Joaquin River, yes. If there was more storage, we could store more water and less water would flow to the ocean. The water at the dam is also split off into the Friant Kern Canal and the Madeira Canal. And we send it down the two canals, north and south of the river, and we use it mainly for agriculture and a little bit for municipal and industrial uses, like the city of Fresno. Right, as I say, you know, this is where the city of Fresno gets its water? This is one of the sources that the city of Fresno has for water. Uh, for surface water, it's their main source. Most of the city of Fresno's water comes from groundwater. The water also provides sustenance for many farmers on the east side of the valley. A lot of different crops, uh, wine, citrus, uh, nut crops, everything that is grown on the east side of the valley, the, we supply water to them. So this water mainly goes down to the east side farmers. Uh, what's the basic reason why west side farmers, you know, where's their water from and why does it not come from here? West side farmers get their water from the delta. We have a pump station, Tracy Pump Plant, that pumps water from the delta um, south to the west side farmers and that also goes all the way down towards Bakersfield. Uh, the reason they don't get it from here is because the water supply is not as dependable as the water supply in the delta so we put the pumps where they have a greater chance of being used every year. If they were on the San Joaquin River, like last time we had flows like this was 2011 so that would have been five years that they would not have had any pumping to the west side. While the water is flowing now, it's not always this way during the summer. No, during the summer months we would be le releasing a tenth of what we're releasing to the river um, to meet the downstream demands, but most of what we want to do is control the water and release it down the two canals for uh, beneficial use. How has the drought affected the lake, affected uh, Friant Dam? Uh, it's, it's much better to be in the situation we are in now than the last few years. It's been really, really tough to operate the last few years. Uh, we have had to release water down to meet other demands and we've had to not, we've given zero allocations on, on the, in 2014, 2015 on the canals and nobody was getting any water out of this reservoir. It recovered a little bit last year and we were able to give some water to our uh, contract holders and this year we're looking to be able to give them a much better supply than last year. I asked drought, are we out of the drought? Nobody knows. Um, we're looking at a good year this year, but 
the only time you know when you're out of a drought is when you look back and say, oh, we're out of the drought. But it's a good year. Looking like a nice wet year this year is all I can say. David Taub, GV Wire.